Welcome to the Honeyville Kitchen. I'm Chef Tess, and today we are making some tropical mango berry Christmas cobbler in a jar. This is an outstanding thing to have on hand for the holidays, for family gatherings, to take camping, or any emergency preparedness situation. But you know, it's an emergency if you need dessert. <laughs> so, there are two basic parts to any kind of a cobbler. There's the fruit part, and then there's the topping. And we're going to do that same kind of construction when we make our jars. Let me just show you really quick how that's gonna work. For our filling, we are going to use one cup of our beautiful freeze-dried mangoes. Make sure you dig them out really. One cup of freeze-dried mangoes. Then you're going to need a half a cup of freeze-dried sliced strawberries half a cup of freeze-dried blackberries. Oh, blackberries in a cobbler just add so much delicious flavor. We're also going to add two tablespoons of lemonade powder. That's gonna give us just a really, really nice tartness to our filling. And then one quarter cup of ultra gel which is a modified cornstarch, and if you don't have that, you can just use regular cornstarch, of course, of course. Okay, shake all those ingredients down in there, and the one last thing you're going to need is a teaspoon of almond flavor. This is a powdered almond flavor, which is really gonna add some really beautiful balance to our cobbler filling. Okay, now we're ready to put our topping in there. You'll need to get a plastic sandwich bag. Slide it right into the top of your jar. And put your beautiful funnel right in the top. And we're going to use one cup of Honeyville buttermilk pancake mix, believe it or not. Makes a fantastic topping. And put that in there along with two tablespoons of Honeyville's Tropical Monsoon Smoothie Mix. What you're going to be looking at there is a lot of coconut, some pineapple nuances. It just gives it that tropical edge. And we're also going to use two tablespoons of butter powder. So it's just a nice buttery flavor. And then two tablespoons of our strawberry milk alternative, which think pina colada Strawberry smoothie, but warm on top of a cobbler. Okay, once those are all combined, you're gonna to top that off with just half a teaspoon of dehydrated lemon or lime zest. Oh my gosh, yum. Okay, twist that top closed. Add an oxygen absorber packet. This will help it to be shelf stable. This is good up to two years in a jar. And then go ahead and get your lid, slide it on the top, and twist it on tightly. There you go. Garnish it with a beautiful ribbon and it's ready to give to a friend or family member. But I think we really need to see how it looks when it's baked up. You're gonna love this. Okay, now that we have our gift jars made, let's go ahead and construct the cobbler. I'm so excited. You take this bag out and you put the ingredients in a bowl. And then the remaining ingredients that are in the bottom of your jar, you put in a saucepan and you simmer with two cups of water for 10 minutes. Once that's finished, it's this beautiful fruit filling that is so luscious and tropical with those chunks of mango and strawberry and blackberry. Okay, now this is an eight inch pie pan. Fill that up, oh, so beautiful. Now we're going to add a third a cup of water to our topping ingredients and stir that up. There's always that cobbler topping debate if it should be more like a cake or more like a biscuit. I like mine to be like a fluffy, fruity, delicious shortcake biscuit right on top of my cobblers. So, get that combined. 
just until it comes together. And we're going to take just a little scoop and scoop that short bed right in there. Look at that. Doesn't that just scream, oh, yummy. I guess you can't scream, oh, yummy. You just eat all oh, yummy. Okay. Now, are we ready to bake it? I think so. I think it's time. Okay, we are going to take this to our oven that has been preheated to 350 degrees and bake it for 30 to 35 minutes. Okay, our tropical mango berry cobbler has come out of the oven and it is beautiful and warm, comforting, everything that you want during the Christmas season. Oh, look at all that fruit. I'm just gonna put some of that all the way around it. Dish it up beautifully. Now it wouldn't be cobbler if we didn't actually put some ice cream on top. We ought to have some ice cream. And I like to have mine with a fabulous drizzle of caramel sauce, just like that. And then finish it off with some macadamia nuts. Are you ready for a bite? Mm. Oh, the mangoes are sweet, the filling is tart and the topping is absolutely perfect. There you go. Make yourself some beautiful Christmas cobbler. If you are interested in any of the delicious products you have seen here today, come visit us at honeyville.com.